Hey guys, JHMiller01 here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be putting a myth to the test. I have heard from multiple people that if you put soft plastic worms in boiling water, it actually makes them have a lot more action. And I mean, I guess it makes sense, but today we're going to be putting it to the test and throwing them in the tank behind me to see if that holds true. So let's get right into the video. Alright, back in the room, back in the room. Uh, we're going to need some hooks. Reaching the file cabinet of the dreams. We got them. These are little octopus hooks. I mean, I don't think these are ideal hooks. Uh, I'm trying to go for kind of like a drop shot presentation, but these will work. I'm just going to put like maybe a two foot segment of line on uh, like two hooks. Whenever we decide to put them in the tank, we'll just compare them in the water. Now for this knot, I'm just going to be tying a simple uh, improved clinch knot. If you don't know how to tie that or you don't know what that is, go check out yesterday's video. Back through again. Pull nice and tight. There we go, we're done. Perfect, we're ready. Let's go check on the water. These work. Perfect, so the water's reached a boil. We're gonna go ahead and put the first one in there and leave it for about 30 seconds. All right, there we go. And into the water. Out of the water she comes. Perfect. Now this one we're gonna do for one minute. Into the water, there we go. Now we wait to see the results of this because that first worm, whenever I pulled it out, it automatically seemed more uh, flexible uh, upon pulling it out. But of course it's really hot when it first comes out of there. So uh, we'll have to see, but I'm really curious to see how these things look uh, underwater compared to each other and just for the heck of it we're gonna go all out in this one we're gonna put this in for a minute and a half or two minutes we're just gonna throw this puppy in there and uh, let it go there she is all right hey mom that's warm water you're not gonna want to jerk that all right guys heading back to the room right now I'm really excited to see these things in the water so what I've done is I've labeled the plate one, two, three, and four, one coming fresh out of the package, two being in the water for 30 seconds, three being in the water for one minute, and four being in the water for a whopping two minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this divider in the tank so Benny doesn't try to eat one of these things, and uh, we're gonna start testing these things out. All right, Benny, this is gonna be for your own good. You're not gonna come over here. This side of the tank is hereby uh, declared off limits. Sorry, buddy. This is my little testing area. You stay over there and vibe, and I'll stay over here, all right? You're, you're good. You're good. All right, guys. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start putting worms on the hook and putting them in the water. I'm going to give you guys a nice little B-roll sequence, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let's see what happens. Wow, guys, I will tell you what, I never thought that would actually work. Um, you could just see huge differences uh, between the first worm straight out of the package all the way through progressively to the fourth worm. Uh, out of the package, yeah, they were a little bit stretchy, like if you pulled on it. Pulling it out of that boiling water, and yes, I let them sit for about five or ten minutes. After doing that, pulling on them, they just were elastic. They were super stretchy. Uh, so yes, also if that answers the question, uh, it will make them a little bit softer, so they will tear up a little bit easier, but if you want more action out of a worm man, this is the way to do it. So one thing you're going to want to make sure you do before you put the worms back in the package is put salt on them. What that'll do is that'll make sure they don't stick together in the package, because uh, you don't want to be reaching your package and just pulling out a bundle of worms. Make sure you put salt on them. 
and that'll keep them from sticking it together. So yeah, that, that is really cool. I, I learned something new today. I hope you guys did too. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with notifications so that you don't miss a beat. I'm doing daily uploads, guys. I'll be doing tip videos like this and uh, all sorts of stuff coming up. So make sure to subscribe if you're new. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, until next time, Jay Schmiller went out. See ya.